The Enigmatic Elegance, Unraveling the Mystery of the Little Princesses. In the annals of art history, few portraits encapsulate the opulence and elegance of early 17th century Dutch society as vividly as Paulus Muriel's masterpiece, Portrait of a Girl, colloquially known as the Little Princesses. Painted circa 1623, this artwork is a harmonious blend of artistic finesse and historical enigma. The portrait captures a young girl adorned in an ornate dress embellished with standing batiste collar, gold braid, jeweled rosette, and gold chains. These intricate details are meticulously crafted showcasing Muriel's adeptness in portraying texture and light. The portrait is steeped in historical richness. Initially catalogued as HET Princess Post its 1865 purchase due to the sitter's regal attire and demeanor. However, subsequent scholarly discourses have delved into complex debates regarding her true identity. De Jonge's 1938 identification of the girl as Countess Elizabeth van Nassau Dietz has been contested. Due to chronological inconsistencies in Elizabeth's age relative to the painting's date. Stylistic analyses place this artwork between Muriel's other renowned pieces from 1622 to 1625. Despite initial attributions linking it to royalty or courtly milieu, recent examinations suggest that such ornate dresses were not exclusive to aristocracy but also appeared in bourgeois portraits. This revelation adds layers of complexity, blurring lines between class distinctions during that era. De Mellon Yuen Hewis skepticism about morals being solely responsible for every element of this painting has been refuted by art experts who attribute its less optimal appearance to abrasion and discolored glazes over time rather than artistic inadequacy. The Little Princesses stands not just as an artistic marvel but also as a historical puzzle, each stroke imbued with narratives waiting to be unraveled. It invites viewers into an intimate dance between fact and fiction, offering glimpses into an era where artistry was not just visual representation, but also societal commentary.